And the floodgates of information will open and it's going to it's going to be quite amazing so um, uh, with that intro um, let's get to the content and okay so what I want to cover today is nothing really like too extremely important it's just something that came up while I was working this morning and so I, I figured I need to inform you guys about all this stuff um, so basically um, I was just notified of this um, information. Um, I'm not sure when Facebook changed their algorithms um, to whatever, um, but I came across this really, like, just a really astonishing post by some uh, some really popular page, and it was revealing how um, the Texas CPS ended up removing a child from these parents' custody, and I mean, the story is just—it's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane and I don't have anything pulled up because that wasn't the topic of this video um, but yeah so basically I want to um, let everyone know that um, you know if you're on Facebook if you use Facebook um, especially in like my groups or on my pages or anything like that I realize what what I've been shooting in my shooting myself in the foot this entire time for a long time by um, basically a lot of the content that I put out is controversial a lot of it could be considered negative you know information because you know it reveals stuff that most people don't want to you know it's stuff you don't want to be going on in the world I mean we nobody wants bad things to be happening in the world but yet that is the state where we find ourselves you know on our trajectory on on planet earth right now is that all of this dark corruption that has been going on for eons is now finally coming to light and is coming to the surface and that is literally the meaning of apocalypse which is from greek apocalyptine which is literally means a lifting of the veil which is what we are doing here that is what the purpose of of this endeavor is to lift the veil um, of d illusion deception and what have you so as that revealing comes to the surface of course a lot of the dark deepest darkest most disturbing information is going to come to light and that is why we're here that's what the point of all of this is that's why i'm here that's why i came you know to to uh, that's why i started this channel that's why i started everything that i'm doing is to bring this stuff to light because you know that's that's what we're here for we are warriors for truth and that's what it's all about so we can't hide uh, from net from negativity we can't run from our negative emotions we can't deny the real full spectrum of human experience which often includes suffering sadness um, passion which literally means suffering that is what the purpose of what we're doing here is our passion our passion is what we are willing to suffer what we are willing to endure in order for you know to to live a fulfilling life it is our our life purpose our burden our cross to bear so which is literally why you know Christ had the passion is the passion of the Christ it's the cross to bear it's the suffering the sacrifice that we make in order to make this world to make this life more fulfilling to make this world a better place so without me rambling on too too long about that um, the actual core of you know issue that I want to bring up is so the, the ch I'm not sure when they implemented these changes but someone sent me the screenshot and I was like oh my god I had no idea about any of this stuff but yeah so negative ratings reflect poorly on the admin uh, the admin team of any group or um, public page on Facebook um, so what that means is that the negative ratings are the angry face the sad face member reported content and the number of people who block you so in other words if you get like all these people who are offended by like by something like the truth or whatever it could be you know if anyone gets offended um, if anyone reports a sad or an angry face on on as a reaction to your posts which you know of course uh, um, a lot of the information that I'm putting out and that many of us are putting out is is going to evoke you know these legitimately real responses of actual real human emotions which are anger um, sadness you know 
uh, frustration, all of these other negative emotions that we want to scrub from the human experience so that we're all just walking around with fake plastic smiles on our faces and so that everything is love and light and we will never have to experience suffering or or passion or any of these other emotions ever again so it's it's part of this like whole thing of you know silicon valley and the social justice warrior culture and you know all of this stuff to make everything better for human beings but at the same time actually making it far more dystopian by removing the real authentic the authenticity of human experience and that just reminds me of terence mckenna how much he spoke about quote unquote literally always um, talked about the authenticity of human experience and that's the whole purpose of what you know what we what we're doing here is is to bring forth true authenticity in the human experience and that's what all of my content is is about I mean especially on my pages my groups and um, here on the YouTube channel which we'll be covering a lot more of that as we go along but so okay so what else so anytime you react to a Facebook post by you know with an angry face or a sad face Let's see, quote unquote, word for word here. These reflect, these ratings reflect poorly on the groups um, and the admins and the um, of these groups and pages, and it will suppress the page's reach. It will suppress um, their organic reach, which is this is becoming so clear as to why all of my pages, my groups, my channel, and all this stuff is being, you know, buried and suppressed in 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 what's what are known as like the secret ratings system on YouTube, which uh, ch uh, amazing channel Nerd City, shout out to Nerd City, did an incredible, just absolutely amazing video expose on the secret rating systems of YouTube. But um, Facebook, of course, has all social media has these same algorithms um, to to rate the user experience, so that people who get poor ratings, you know, from putting out stuff like deliberately offensive or hateful content, will automatically be buried and suppressed and won't be shown to people. And you know, there is somewhat of a kind of legitimate, you know, reasoning behind that. Of course, you don't want, you know, these legitimate like hate troll fake pages and all this stuff to come out, you know, o overtly slandering people. Like for example, Dr. Garth Davis has. There's literally like millions of, of fake Instagram accounts that that are um, imposter accounts of his, of his stuff, like posting pictures of his wife, his kids, and all this stuff, and just and literally scamming people, um, getting all these women to send to send these fake accounts. They're sending him they're sending these fake accounts money and all that. It's absolutely it's it's hilarious that it's it it like it seems unreal and it is like it's so unreal, but yet. This is what happens. So of course there is somewhat a legitimate, you know, reasoning behind. You know, you gotta suppress and, and um, eliminate stuff like that. But the 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 complete hypocrisy is that they're not doing anything to actually, you know, prevent those those like troll and sock puppet and you know chaos agent accounts from popping up all over the place. They do nothing, you know, to help Dr. Garth Davis in his like battle against these scam um, accounts and all of this stuff. So they're do doing nothing about that. But yet they're going out of there. So it's just complete hypocrisy if, if you get the point that I'm making here. So it's insane. Um, but so, okay, so anytime you, um, you negatively, negatively, um, emotionally react to any, any post or any information, you know, anything that could be out there, it can be completely factual, you know, it doesn't matter as to the veracity of the content. It just, only emotions matter in the 21st century. Truth doesn't matter. Facts don't matter. Logic, reason, stoicism, none of this stuff matters. What matters is social outrage. The people who scream the loudest, which, <laughs> funny, uh, I, could, I could definitely scream the loudest if we want to have a screaming contest, but, <laughs> but um, jokes aside, you know, the voices that are the loudest are the ones that get, that get, you know, that get heard the most and that get repeated especially on stupid platforms like Twitter and you know whatever else it's the outrage culture and all of that and it reigns supreme so of course the things that we negatively react to generate the most interest and that's what actually boosts that's what actually boosts you know a lot of these things to the top trends of things like Twitter and Facebook and all of that because you know if 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 you if you really dislike something if something makes you angry and stuff you're going to you know like lash out in the comment sections and it generates a huge amount of of social discussion and that in turn boosts this stuff to it elevates it to the you know the to the heights of the algorithms and it uh, to the 
it boosts it to the top of the feeds and that's what makes things trend and so that's why outrage culture tends to be so you know things that are so stupid and so just like low intelligence stuff tends to like trend at the height of these things is because you know it generates the most interest and for example like whenever i'm pissed off or something and i rant or rave about something on social media you know that's those are the things that like get the most you know that engage a lot of my followers and stuff where i i post you know like incredible information does nothing and you know it reminds me of like the thing of like you know if you're doing something right and I don't know if this is an actual proverb or anything, but it's it's a trend that I've noticed in the world and in my own work is like if something is true, if something is is going, if everything is going right, if everything is going correctly, you know, nobody's going to take notice of it. No one's even going to notice that the, that that good work is being done because you know it's it's um, it goes unseen, it goes unnoticed because our visual stimuli and the way we the way we perceive things in our minds is things that stand out in our mind to us are things that you know shouldn't be there you know there it's it's something that it, it pops out you know like it's it's the same thing as like cutting the tall poppy you know if something stands out more than you know the the background you know the background information the background noise then you're going to focus you're going your our vision it, this is you know an evolutionary tactic that we've developed you know to sort of to warn ourselves of any um impending danger or things like that so you know in other words like if you're you know if you're great if you were a prey animal you're grazing on the savanna or whatever and you know you don't notice a lion creeping up because you know you're just seeing the the stillness of the grass and if nothing changes in your visual perception then you're not going to be alarmed and you're not going to there's no sort of being you know the the masters of psychology will use this against us and so this is all involved in the suppression of, of information the suppression of truth and the exaltation of just mindless outrage and um you know and all this stuff but at the same time trying to suppress the full human the full spectrum of genuine human emotions so so anytime you guys so the bottom line here is never react emotionally to any facebook post it, um you know, if it's information that needs to be known and you know, for example like you know if you react negatively like if you um you know click an angry face or a sad face or whatever to to genuine injustices genuine travesties for something example something like the an ongoing animal holocaust and factory farming practices or the ongoing um human uh, crimes against humanity, such as, you know, wars in other countries that are, you know, f um, based upon false flags or, you know, any of these other things that could go on. Use your imagination. I'm sure you can come up with plenty off the top of your head. Um, and it's it's kind of hard for me to pull up a bunch of them off the top of my head. But again, any type of injustice, any type of crime against the ecology itself, against, you know, against nature, against the ecosystem, against our health, public health, and, um, you know, human wellness, or just, you know, ecological wellness in general, anything that evokes a, neg a negative response from people, these are being deemed as, as poor, they're being poorly ranked and poorly rated because people, it's, quote unquote, like right here in the Facebook actual changes to the guidelines, sad or angry face reactions tell Facebook that the user is having a bad experience, therefore diminishes the pages or the group's organic reach. Therefore, if it's vital information, but it makes people sad and it makes you angry, oh, my feelings, oh, it's a violent, it's violent speech. Oh, it's hate speech. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, it's such an injustice, you know? And Facebook is, is so Facebook is taking action. They want to protect your emotions. They care so much about you. You know, the, the people at Google, you know, Silicon Valley, you know, the, these people care so much about your emotional well-being that they're going to suppress vital information because it gets a poor rating and it gets downranked and it gets buried in the algorithms because it's Facebook because they're they're trying to to eliminate all negative e experience so that you can have a positive happy experience on Facebook and on social media and on the internet they want to protect your well-being and your mental health and of course Facebook has been caught numerous times manipulating people's emotions strategically by specifically um, curtailing their newsfeed to show them more negative posts, more negative information, so that it can deliberately 
make them depressed and make them, you know, less than um, less than happy to you know to say the least. But um, so yeah, I mean that's been going on for a number of years. That came out a long time. What maybe as far as back as as 2013, I think it was. Um, but that's been going on for a while. So of course they care. So it's complete hypocrisy. Of course they care so much about your emotional well-being and all of that. So. It's just ridiculous, and the reason I'm bringing this all up is because I came across this video that was astonishing that, you know, that the Texas CPS, you know, stole this child from their parents and, um, and is refusing to give the state back, and, and this is, it's legitimate, like, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna waste time going through and looking up the post and showing you guys all of that, but I don't know, should I? Should I? I, I don't know, but... Um, the point is, like, the reason why it hit so hard was because it's so true, and I've been covering that for years now on, not just on my social media, I haven't covered on the YouTube channel yet, I've been meaning to. I've got a full presentation, let me show you what this, what the presentation that, um, gives the background information on it is. High level, um, I changed the title, um, to something more appropriate. Um, it was originally high level law enforcement is involved in institutionally protected sex trafficking because it absolutely is and I, I've in this presentation I've documented literally hundreds of examples um, in from many other news outlets many other um, legitimate stories that have covered all of that stuff but I've changed the title recently you can find this on my pa um, patreon uh, page um, this one is public access. It's not restricted to patrons only, so I will include the link to this in the description below, so you guys can check that out in your own time. We will be uh, we will be doing a full, maybe a, a film, maybe multiple presentations on. All, it's so vast. It's so deep. We'll be covering this in in the Chester Pedesta um, Chester Pedesta um, film presentation that I I did several years ago. That's almost finished. I never finished it, but I need to put that out as soon as I get it done. But um, it's titled "Occult Secrets of Institutionally Protected Sex Trafficking." Um, I decided to make it a title that's a little more. Um, appropriate and relevant to the content but yeah it, it documents all the various infinite ways that high level law enforcement government all agencies of um political institutions and all levels of of secular um society are systematically systemically involved in crimes against humanity such as human trafficking um syndicates and things like that um and many different um just shocking examples of how this has happened. For example, recently, one of the recent examples is in, Ita is in Italy. Um, they uncovered just the, the, the local police uncovered this huge ring that involved the local mayor, that involved the local CPS, it involved numerous high-level doctors, institutionally um, renowned doctors, psych uh, psychiatrists, soci sociologists, um, CPS, um, what is it? The foster care system, all of this stuff, and I've been covering this for, for years now. As well as you know, who turned me on to really all of this stuff was my homie True Theory, Christopher Lord, on his channel, and he's been covering that in you know many, many different videos. So I mean, it's a big, it's too va vast and too broad for me to even begin to give you all the details of that in this video. We're not going to do that. Plus, you know, that will get my channel um, poor ratings and. It will get it bad, restricted, and downranked and downvoted in the in the algorithms and all that stuff. So you can check out the full presentation again. Link in the description below. Um, please, um, you know, so feel free and throw me a bone, a dollar or two a month on Patreon if you appreciate the information that I provide to you in these pr full presentations um, and in these full films that will be coming. Um, so yeah, if you appreciate that stuff, please help support me. Um, this is my sole source of income. It's how I support myself. Um, so, if you appreciate that stuff, um, please uh, give back if you have the uh, the ability. Um, that way you can support high quality content and um, you can help me continue this work because I rely on the support of my viewers and, and my, uh, my audience to, uh, to continue this work full time. It is my full time job um, and, and I guarantee you this is stuff that you won't find anywhere else. It is uniquely um, esoteric symbolism that you won't find from other channels or other outlets. So. Um, and it's it's put together in a, a unique lifting the veil style that you will only get from from my pages and from my um, from my presentations. So it's um, yeah, I'm, I've rambled on enough about that. But so back to the point. 
Um, so anytime you use the negative emoticons reactions, it just completely um, basically shoots yourself in the foot. Um, so people who are trying to do good work exposing, you know, bad things in the world um, and it generates negative emotions in people. So um, don't shoot good creators in the foot by um, negatively reacting and showing um, the social media censors of the world and the social justice warriors um, that that we're having a bad experience because um, Yeah, we don't want them to know that the world is having a bad experience We want them to know that you know, we want positivity and we want positive change in the world and That's what bringing and exposing all this stuff to the light shining light and shining our the light of consciousness the light of the mind the, the focal point of the mind, making this the focus until we change these things. Things will never change if they remain buried in the deep subconscious of the collective human psyche. And this has been going on for, for eons in the shadows, operating in the shadows of the collective human psyche. And that is how all these trafficking syndicates and governments and um, agents and all of these agencies who are working for nefarious syndicates and um, crime rings and all of this stuff, organized crime, that's how they operate, is they operate in the shadows and they operate behind the veil and um, of deception. and. That's how it works. And so I'm, I'm sure I'm probably not um, conveying anything new to you guys in that regard. But I just wanted to make this a public service announcement um, and make this public is, is as a warning, you know, never use the negative um, emoticon reactions because, of course, you know, this, this all ties into like, you know, this is why Facebook generated, why they created these, um, a broader response reaction range as opposed, it used to just be a like button and that was it. You know, but that's why they've expanded the, the emotional reaction range is because um, they deliberately want to, you know, it's, it's feeding this AI machine learning algorithms behind all these social media platforms, which are uh, directly managed and run by the CIA um, companies, uh, front companies called InQtel. Um, in other words, yeah, InQtel, in other words, um, collecting a database of, of information in order to monitor social trends, um, things that could be dangerous to the government or threatening, you know, s national security and all of that stuff. So this is why they created the negative reaction span so that they can more accurately track what people are reacting to and um, so they can track these trends and they can suppress them, they can bury them, they can sequester them into, you know, to, to quarantine it so where it doesn't uh, infect the larger public social sphere. So that's why they created these reaction stuff so they can, again, treat it as a negative, so they can view it as a negative human human response and so they can review it as a, ne as a bad experience and they f can then, you know, um, feed you more of what might make you happy, like the cat memes. Oh, are you having a, oh, you don't like that the government is um, is doing all these things or that, oh, the animal agriculture industry is factory farming and um, committing horrible crimes and atrocities against, you know, billions of animals every single day. Oh, you don't like that? That creates a negative emotional response in you. Oh, well then here, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that from, from spreading. So more people don't have to have that negative experience, the negative reaction to that experience rather than genuinely changing the world in a positive way and eliminating the actual suffering going on. They're going to eliminate your emotional reaction to the cause of this suffering in the first place. They're trying to eliminate the response, the, the effect and, and never mind the cause of all of these things, we won't, no, don't bother trying to change any of that. We're going to eliminate the, the reaction to that. So I think we'll call it there. Um, we'll call this a day. My computer's about to die and I don't want to waste time um, unplugging my thing and plugging the power thing back in. Plus, I've rambled on enough. This wasn't supposed to be this long, but I, I get on here and I, I, I rant about this stuff. So I think we'll call it there, guys. What do you think about... Um, about AI intelligence um, collecting information on human emotions so that it can learn, you know, what humans like, what they respond to, and that it can then, you know, feed them more of what they might like, such as cat memes and, you know, whatever else, um, these frivolous and trivial things that they might react um, in a positive way to, as opposed to, you know, the, the shocking truths that we have to confront as warriors for truth in our modern day world. So, again... I'm Colin Smith. This is Lifting the Veil. Let me know what you guys think about this whole um, 
this whole suppression of human emotions of of and it's the same thing that the new age and the love and light community is doing um of course we don't ever want to have a bad a, a bad experience a bad user experience here on earth so of course we're going to try to curtail any type of negative influences or negative emotions so that they don't um you know disrupt our cat memeing and all of those things so let me know what you guys think about all of this am i just completely you know being off base here am i um just completely overly reacting in a, in a foolish way or is this is there a legitimate um concern for you know the reasons why they would possibly be um so there there uh, and i also wanted to cover there are actual repercussions for this like they will terminate your facebook they will turn it okay if content posted in a group goes against facebook's terms of services admins are at risk of losing their personal profile their business page and their group all admins can be shut down with no recourse if so, if the members of their page or the members of their group are simply reacting with happier or with angry or sad faces to their posts in, on their page or their group, or if members in your group report your content, in other words, if it offends them, even if it's factually correct and well cited and well documented, to hell with information. You know, it's emotions rule the world. Oh, oh, I'm so I'm so e triggered, bro. My emotions, I, I'm so distraught. So emotions rule this world, not facts, logic, reason, and or or even rhetoric. You know, none of these aspects of the quadrivium and the trivium me method of of logic and reason and methodology. None of that matters. No, it's it's all about emotions. Emotions are the only thing that matters. And you know, so many of my good friends in you know the new age and the the love and light community just completely buy into all of that stuff and they feed into it without knowing like the full implications of what that can foster in you know the greater um, social upliftment of human consciousness. So, um, so yeah, there are deliberate, re um, vast, um, and pretty, pretty bad repercussions for, you know, the, for these things. So yeah, that's, that's just a warning. So yeah, you have to watch like everything that goes on, on your pages and in your groups, because if anyone has a bad experience, they will terminate your page and they will shut down your Facebook page. And this is why there have been so many truth pages hundreds shut down and terminated within the past um year or so especially since um since the great purge of 2018 following you know the florida um parkland florida events and all of those type of things all of these crimes against humanity these mass negative events that have gone on so all of those things were basically you know they I'm not even going to begin to go into that, but the reaction in the wake of all of those things has been to completely suppress any type of information that affects people negatively as far as emotions are concerned. So we'll leave it there. Uh, my computer's about to die, so I will see you guys later. Um, there's, stay tuned for so much more content coming out. I'm trying to get it cranked out as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to crank out short stuff um, in the meantime that will keep you... Um, uh, engaged and that will keep you um, keep you thinking and keep you on your toes in the meantime until these full films and the, the next installments of the Symbols of Power series come out. So I want to thank you guys again, Cullen Smith, Lifting the Veil. You guys have a great day and I will see you later. Um, again, uh, please like, share, subscribe if, um, if you've experienced some of this stuff going on in your life and if you think this may help people um, raise their awareness about what's going on if you're if you're a truther, um, make sure to, to warn people not to react negatively to anyone's information because otherwise that information will not get out. It will not be shared and it will not be, it will not reach other people and it could be vital information. So this is very important. Um, uh, you guys can support me on patreon.com slash lifting the veil. Again, I rely on, on my viewers to support um, all the films and all the work that I'm doing and all the presentations that I'm writing currently. Um, check out the merch links. Get some lifting the veil merch in the links in the descriptions below. And I will see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Okay, let's end this. Oh,